It was 6.30 a.m. on the 9th of April 2006. We were in Chile on a bumpy four-wheel drive to see the spectacular El Tacho geysers in the Atacama Desert. What a breathtaking sight to behold, a geothermic field of over 80 steaming and spewing geysers. We had arrived early as the field of geysers is best seen at dawn. Once the sun rises, morning winds and heat disperse the steam and reduce the spectacular views. Our guide explained that magma creates the steam by heating the water in the underground river to 120 degrees Celsius. El Tacho Geysers, located 4,300 meters above sea level, is one of the highest geysers in the world. Its beauty is enhanced by the Andes Mountains and the clear blue skies in the background. One can expect to have clear blue skies as we are in the Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on Earth. El Tacho Geysers is the third largest geyser field in the world, after the Yellowstone National Park in the USA and the Valley of the Geysers in Russia. The geysers erupt from holes in the ground. Parts of the field are very dangerous to walk on with a thin crust over boiling mud. Each geyser is surmounted by a column of steam which condenses in the bitterly cold morning air. The steam plumes disappear as the air warms up. Some geysers spurt a 20 meter high shaft of steam which contrasts beautifully in the metallic blue sky. Some geysers belt steam like giant tea kettles. Others resemble cauldrons of boiling water. Still others spew pillars of mineral-laden water, creating apricot-colored cones. We cooked some eggs. They were hard-boiled in four minutes. A thermal pool heated to 35 degrees Celsius. It was fed from a runoff of a geyser. My camera's on my screen. We're not going to get amoebic dysentery, are we? <laughs> One is struck by such a variety of magnificent landscapes. It was such a great experience. We felt like privileged guests of the mountain gods of the Andes.